backswing is all about rotation, and particularly on the backswing, being able to get that coil and get that uh, get that rotation around that uh, around that right leg if you're a right-handed golfer. Um, but what we see a lot of people do is they have too much lateral motion. They they either their body doesn't know how to rotate, or maybe they're lacking some motion um, or some stability in their body, so they're not able to fully rotate. And instead, we see more of this lateral motion in the golf swing. And so what a good golf swing backswing should look like is if Chloe takes her setup and she rotates back into her backswing, it should be a nice rotary movement where if we drew a line kind of from the outside of her foot up from the start of her golf swing and then when she coils back into her backswing, her hips shouldn't cross this straight line coming up from the side of her foot. So that would be a nice coiled rotated backswing. If we see what's called a sway motion, we see where now she would cross that that line. A lot of times we see the right foot kind of roll out so the big toe comes up off the ground when her head and all of her body is kind of shifted laterally back, which is going to make it a lot more challenging to get back to the ball and make good solid contact. A lot of times people either hit it thin or they hit behind it. Um, so if that's, if that's you, um, that's oftentimes kind of what we see because they have that movement back. Um, sometimes we even see that associated with that reverse spine angle. So she rotates back and then there, her her torso is even kind of back here. That hip juts out. We got a lot of uh, a lot of times when I see hip pain, kind of on the outside on that right hip. Um, it's oftentimes because of that lateral uh, hip motion, uh, that lateral sway. So we're going to use the CLX band as an exercise. We're actually going to use the golf club as well to do a drill to help prevent that lateral sway. And so. We're going to actually start by putting the band around Chloe's foot on her right foot if she is a right-handed golfer. And put that around her foot. From here, we're going to loop it around the outside of her lower leg. We're going to come on the inside or the medial aspect of her right knee. We're going to come up and around her rear end and then she's going to put her hands through a loop in the front. We're going to put it around her wrist there. It's going to allow her to still hold the club normally with a nice normal grip. And from here, she's going to perform a backswing. Now with that, my cue to Chloe is keep your knee pressed against this band here. All right? By doing that, it really forces her right foot to stay down. It would be unnatural to roll out like that because that puts too much pressure on the, the band. So it puts her, uh, press her right knee into the band. And because of the way that the band is kind of coiled around her, it kind of encourages that rotational, that coil movement, as opposed to if she tries to do any sort of lateral sway, she'd be pressing into the band laterally and it would, be, it would feel awkward. So this actually encourages or assists with that coiling effect and that rotation. Um, this is something that you can do in the gym to help with that, or because we have the golf club, you could actually hit golf balls with this um, with the band on um, out on the range or on the golf course to practice this and avoid that lateral sway motion.